She is getting her hand nice and moist. I'm going to open up my scrub. So this is um, an herbal sea salt scrub. And it contains sea salt, almond oil, peppermint, rosemary, vitamin E, and a couple other really nice ingredients. So I'm going to be using this salt scrub. I also am going to use this little essential oil. So this is a stress away blend of essential oils by Young Living. And this is one of my favorite little blends. What I like about this is that it has this little glide on attachment. So I can just apply a little bit here. I'm going to just kind of rub the wrist together a little bit. That makes a really nice scent for our little spa day. Okay, so now let's take your hand out of the water. And what I'm going to do is apply some of this herbal sea salt. And just to start with, I'm just going to apply it. Gently applied the salt. I've gone just a little bit over her wrist here. Now, herbal sea salt is really nice because we're actually going to be exfoliating the dead skin off the top layer of the skin. And also, with this gentle massage, we're helping some of those minerals in the salt moisturize the skin, adding more minerals. And of course we talked about the avocado oil, vitamin E, and other great ingredients. So for this massage, I'm beginning on the underside of the hand. So if you'll just turn your hand over, I can kind of show them what this looks like. So this really nice fleshy part of the hand feels really nice get gentle movements and it's always nice to move in a circular motion so you'll notice I'm just making little tiny circles with my thumbs into this nice fleshy part of her hand So 
a lot of muscles in the hands. Whether we spend a lot of time typing or maybe we do some kind of athletic or we're musicians, the hands store up a lot of tension. So I'm just continuing these circular motions inside the hand and as I move up getting closer to the joint where the fingers are actually meeting the inside of the hand. I'm just decreasing my pressure slightly. The same thing goes for the side of the hand. Just using slightly less pressure than I was using in that softer, fleshier part of the hand. It's also a good idea to check in with your partner and make sure that the pressure feels good to them. Everyone is different. Continuing with these gentle circular motions all across the area where the fingers are connecting to the hand. Now, moving back down toward the thumb, this is where that juicy, juicy pressure point exists. So, You'll be able to feel this, and you could actually, if you don't have a partner, you can grab your own hand, you can feel this on yourself. But this pressure point lies somewhere right in here. And if you're doing this on yourself, you'll be able to feel when you hit that point. And it almost feels tender. You never want to apply deep pressure to this point, but it can be very nice to gently massage into that pressure point. So now that I've done some more detailed work, I'm going to return to those broad circular strokes. And now moving down to the fingers, I'm just applying some gentle traction. So I'm not pulling the finger or trying to pop it out of the joint, but just gently with such light pressure, giving a little traction to the finger. And sometimes you may have a little pop, but you don't want to force it. certainly want to be gentle, because the whole point is relaxation. So go ahead and turn your hand back over. Now we're looking again at the top of the hand. Again with these circular motions. Let's again talk about this little pressure point. So from this angle you can see it again and it would be right in here somewhere. And Corey, you can kind of let me know where it feels good or if it's too much pressure. Feels good. Now this is great. If you're ever experiencing a headache, experiencing stress, just hold 
hold on to this little pressure point for a moment and breathe deeply really thinking about the tension being stored in this pressure point and using your breath to push that tension away and flush all of that tension out of the area so I'm going to continue my gentle traction on the fingers So now I'm going to continue with by pulling very gently on each of the fingers at each of the joint areas. Now I'm not trying to crack our knuckles. I just want to really elongate the fingers and really allow space come into these little joint capsules and just let the fingers elongate so I'm just going to do a little bit more of this gentle circular motion massage before we move on to the next hand If you'd like, you can go ahead and start soaking your other hand in water. start rinsing some of that salt away. So now I'm going to apply some of the salt scrap. And what I found is the easiest thing to do once you have the scrub on your hands just actually rub it in your own hands a little bit and then when you apply it it goes on much more evenly start on the inside of your hand again so you can just dump your hand over so again starting with these nice circular movements really focusing in this nice fleshy part of the and while it feels real fleshy and soft, there's actually a lot of musculature in the hand, constantly working. We often don't even realize how much we use our hands. circular movements and 
then as I get closer to these knuckles, where the fingers are reaching, meeting the end of the hand, I'm using less pressure and slightly smaller. And then, you never want to forget, there's actually a lot of musculature still. Attachments here on the edge of the hand. I'm going to spend a little bit of time massaging into this area. And then we'll focus on this little pressure point again. one actually feels a little bit more tense than the other one. And now, this gentle traction. Pulling slightly on each of the fingers, not trying to pop the knuckles out of the joint, but just elongating those knuckles at each little joint point to welcome fresh air and a little bit of space into the joint. Important never to forget any finger, even the little tiny pinky, which actually does a whole lot of work that we don't even realize until maybe we injure our pinky <laughs> and then you realize how much you rely on it just to do simple things like holding a pen or typing. Okay, and then we'll turn your hand over. Resuming with these really nice circular strokes all across the top part of the hand, letting the sea salt scrub do its gentle work of exfoliating the dead skin away so that new skin will start to form. Again, with this gentle traction and gentle massage along the knuckles and the joint areas. If you want to use more pressure, you know, if somebody really has a lot of tension that you're working to release, the trick is to apply that pressure over a broader surface. So the example would be, if I took my thumb and applied a lot of pressure right into this area, I could actually hurt her. That certainly wouldn't be very relaxing. But if I apply that same amount of pressure across the entire base of my hand, giving lots of pressure into this area, now I'm still not using a huge amount of pressure, but it is more than I've been doing in the rest of this little massage. But applying that pressure over this broader surface of my hand allows me to use more pressure but to still have a nice relaxing and calming effect. And you definitely eliminate the danger of potentially hurting the person, which is much easier to do if you're using pressure in a very small surface, like if I was just poking her with the tips of my thumbs, for instance. 
Okay. So now you can rinse the sand off. And let me actually just rinse my hands real quickly before <laughs> so I don't get more salt on you again. That and then I have another towel here. Okay, so you can rinse that one. And then I'm just gonna come on this hand, gently dry it off. You can see that I'm just gently patting dry her hands. You know, I'm not using a lot of pressure with this towel to remove the water. Mainly just want to remove the excess water. I'm going to remove the water from my own hands. And now are already incredibly soft and smooth. Maybe you can't really see that in the video, but they are definitely incredibly soft and smooth. Now because this is the ASMR salon and spa, I think it's nice to even add a little bit more moisturizer to the hands after doing a treatment like this. So now I'm going to use this sweet almond oil. I don't know if the camera is going to focus on it or not, but here it is. And it is 100% pure almond oil. And I think it's really important to make sure that we're not using a bunch of strange chemicals on our skin. So. I'm just going to use some of this oil. I'm going to start rubbing it on my own hands so that it's nice and even on my hand and then when I apply it to her hand wipe off a little excess when I apply it to her hand it's nice and even it goes on super evenly I'm kind of doing a lot of the same motions that I was doing before. So the circular movements, I'm really pulling out on each of the fingers, allowing some traction there. And then one of my favorite things is to actually take just a minute and focus on this little tiny area right in between. And I'm just very lightly, very gently massaging a little bit of this oil right into this little area between the fingers. And then I'll use my thumb here to really massage into this nice little fleshy area. And again, any time that you gently massage around joints or around knuckles, it's always going to have a really nice therapeutic effect. And it's also going to improve the health of whatever joint or knuckle you're working on. 
So just by bringing circulation, bringing fresh oxygen into that area, this is a really good, easy way to prevent carpal tunnel or other degenerative um, conditions that, you know, can actually cause a significant amount of pain. Um, anybody who's experienced carpal tunnel or, or arthritis uh, will tell you it's not pleasant. And just to finish out here, massaging all along the little bones and muscles leading up to this finger, and all the way out. I'm going to do that for each finger. And I know you can't really see it, but I'm using the pressure between my thumb and my index finger to massage both sides of the hand as I do this. So I have my index finger underneath. So I'm creating a little bit of pressure in between my thumb and my index finger. And this fleshy inner part of the hand here really holds a lot of tension, so I'm going to spend a little bit of extra time on this area. And all the way out. Bring a little bit of pressure at the very tip of the finger. And then again, spoiling this nice little fleshy area, and then pulling all the way out the thumb. So now, I've actually still got a little bit of salt on my fingers. So I'm going to remove that before I go on to the next hand. So now I'm going to use my sweet almond oil again as another moisturizer just to really leave her hands feeling nice and silky. So I've got my oil. Apply just a little bit. And then I'm going to start by rubbing it on my own hands so that it's nice and evenly distributed on my hands when I go to apply it to hers. So here we go. Again with these nice broad circular motions all across the hand, really making sure to evenly apply this moisturizing oil. So now on this final stroke, I'm going to use my index finger and my thumb to gently massage both the top and the bottom of the hand, all the way along the length of this pinky bone and muscle, which does extend actually all the way up the arm, moving out all the way to the tip little bit more pressure on the tip of her finger. And then moving on to this next finger. And all the way up to the very end. pressure when we get to the very end. 
very tip of the finger and then I'm actually going to switch hands so I can hit this nice fleshy part of the inside of the palm really focusing on the bones and muscles leading up to this index finger and all the way out to the end So we have several other videos planned for you. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope that you'll subscribe to our channel. If you have requests, you can leave those below and we'll do our absolute best to make those videos for you. There will be some additional videos popping up for you to see, some related content. So if you like this video, you can see if one of some of our other related videos look interesting for you. I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you have a really beautiful day, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.